Welcome back to The Nation. Seven national MPs have confirmed their retirement in recent weeks. They'll all step down at next year's general election. One of them is List MP and West Coaster Chris Ockenville. Good morning, Mr Ockenville. Thank you for joining us this morning. Good morning, Rachel. What's, Pleasure. What's it meant to you to be an MP and to be an MP on the West Coast? Oh, it's very, very special. I, th I think the high point for me was the initial taking the oath of allegiance uh, in Parliament as a Scottish immigrant. It's uh, something I've always wanted to do. And to be able to do that in New Zealand speaks volumes for the, the, the system over here. In terms of representing the coast, I guess I've been involved in National for a long time. And if anyone had said, go down to the West Coast, stand for National, that's the way to get into Parliament, you'd probably have said they need their head read. But we did have a family move down there. And uh, I must say, it's a wonderful place. Coasters are worth their weight in gold, and it's great to represent them. They are indeed. So why are you standing down then? Well, uh, hopefully the makeup they put on doesn't show my real age, but I'm 68 now. I'd be uh, 69 before the next election, 70 after it, and then uh, sort of there till 73. There's actually other things I really do need to do. I'll have been privileged to have nine years, held the seat for three. And so I think uh, Natural renewal should occur within the party. I believe in that. And as the oldest member in caucus, I think uh, <laughs> name begins with A, I, I can be one of the first to pop off. <laughs> Why do you think you have, you know, if you can try not to be too humble, but, you know, you've been a, a popular MP on the coast. Why do you think Thank that you. is, given that, you know, that was the birthplace yep. of Labour and you're a national MP? Yeah, but you see, Tasman, the Tasman end of the electorate was actually the birthplace of national too. Dr. A.R. Green established that uh, uh, proposal. But apart from that, I think um, my first three years, we got uh, 35 national MPs to individually come down to the coast to get rid of the stereotype that uh, affects the development down there. Uh, I fully, the, the coast is very Celtic. I'm Scots by name, nature and inclination. So I sit quite comfortably in that uh, area. They needed good, solid representation. And I think national, particularly as part of the John Key government, provided that. Uh, the Prime Minister has been down to the coast a lot, loves it, and uh, we've had quite a close interface. Have you ever aspired to being more than a backbench MP? I think, uh, in terms of being a cabinet minister, no, that's not my forte. I came in at a sort of uh, senior age. I've had pleasantly successful business life, and uh, I, I must say, uh, I really promote the energy and, and intellectual clout that the younger brigade are coming in. And that's where you want, that, that's where you want the work done by that age. Well, you group. mentioned that, actually. I just read the editorial uh, in the Weekend Herald today, and that sort of praised, if you like, National for a number of MPs standing down and letting some fresh new blood come in. Oh, cool. Is that important, do you think? Oh, I think so. I mean, when, when we came in in 2005, our 2005 intake, we came in with half the caucus. We came in with 24 MPs. That's a huge renewal. Uh, and I think it's better, though. I had a long time in agriculture. I think it's better to have continual replacement rather than wholesale replacement. Fresh places, indeed. If you have a legacy on the coast, uh, Mr Ockenvall, yeah. what do you think that might be? Uh, I think it's fairly straightforward. The first is we've probably heightened the awareness of the West Coast uh, uh, from a community point of view and of uh, Tasman within government. Uh, I'm very, very pleased uh, and grateful to Minister Ryle to have addressed the question of health infrastructure. That's been good. And I think we will continue to progress the uh, infrastructure for modern mining, and that's very, very important to the coast. Uh, the it's a little known fact, but their actual turn, the, the household income was 86,000. If you discount the cost of housing and mortgages on the coast, it's one of the top performing regions in the country. And that's very, very important to see that grow. So what do you see as the future for the coast? Because, you know, it's an area that's had its fair share of tragedies as well. Yeah, I guess that was uh, one of the most significant parts of being the elected MP when we had Pike River and the uh, Fox Glacier aircraft uh, crash as well. And there was huge public grief and you, you, you walk uh, 
uh, the, you walk that way with them. In terms of uh, the future, I think the future will always be the three principal earners that are there at the moment, and that's dairying, tourism, and mining. Tourism is the biggest employer with about 60% of people, but uh, a lower payer and part-time work, whereas mining uh, brings in tremendous skills and uh, can really develop the place. And, and I think we'll stick with that. And what, what about your future? What are you going to do? Mine? Well, uh, I've got, uh, whenever I've had a, and I've been a lucky boy, I've had a, a really good mix in careers, but we live in a beautiful place. Uh, we live at Lake Brunner. Uh, we Fingers. built our own house there. Yeah, yeah. I think your, your son would probably enjoy it down there. <laughs> and there's bits of the lake that I still haven't fished in. Um, uh, I do, whenever I've left a position, I've always let the door shut and then you can go into the next bit. So you have a couple of projects up your sleeve. I've got a couple of uh, good opportunities for partnering up with younger people who want perhaps a little bit of advocacy and business experience. Uh, and some, one of them is a sort of boys' own adventure stuff, and that'll involve tourism. Uh, opportunities. Uh, the other will be more on the advocacy role and I certainly intend to uh, take full advantage of the skills that I picked up in Parliament. Probably still consider uh, public questions as fairly important and addressing those. I think the important thing to remember is, for an MP, it's, Parliament is a wonderful place to be, wonderful place to be, especially with the mix we've had. But I'm only retiring from Parliament, not from life and not from politics. Indeed. All right, Chris Hockenville, National MP, appreciate your time this morning. Thank you. Thanks very much. Enjoy that fishing.